This is a tutorial for the Dragonfly Spirit Invitation song. I'll do a line by line breakdown with translation of each component. The first line of the song is Mini Chalu Zataha Kinya Wa Uwe Lo. Again, Mini Chalu Zataha Kinya Wa Uwe Lo. The entire sentence translates as From Fast Moving Water, Flying I Come. This sentence is in reference to the environment in which dragonflies lay their eggs. Mini Chalu Zat translates as Fast Moving Water. Taha is a suffix attached to many words to add the meaning from. Taha, the entire word again, mini chalu za taha. Mini chalu za taha. Kiya is the infinitive word to fly. It's also the third person singular form of the verb he, she, or it flies. Since Lakota does not make use of the participle form of words, kiya is also used to impart the meaning of the English word flying. Kiya. Both vowels are nasalized. Kinya. Kinya. Wauwelo means I come with the masculine particle ending. Wauwelo. Women would say either wau or wauwe. U is the infinitive and third person singular form of come. Wauwelo. Wauwelo. So the first line in its entirety is. Sung, it sounds like this. Again. The next line is Tak Ochichia Kinkta Chahe Wa Uwe Lo. It translates as, I have something to tell you, so I come. It references Dragonfly's medicine, which helps us to see the truth through our illusions. Tak is the apostrophized form of taku, which means thing or something. Tak. Tak. Ochichiakinta is the future form of ochichiaka, which means I tell you. It is derived from the word okiyaka, which means to tell someone, he, she, or it tells someone. Ochichiya kinkta, the kta ending puts it in the futurity. Ochichiya kinkta. Cha means thus or so. Cha. Cha. He is an indicative particle often used as a reference in Lakota grammar. He. He. Wauwelo again appears and means I come. Wauwelo. Again, women would say wau. This line in its entirety is tak ochichi akinkta cha he wauwelo. Tak ochichi akinkta cha he wauwelo. Song, it is tak ochichi akinkta cha he wauwelo. Again. Tako chichi yaking ta cha he wa uwe lo. The next two lines are the third and fourth lines of all four verses of the song. Cha taya anama yo translates as the imperative sentence, so listen to me well. Again, this line is in a reference to Dragonfly telling us the truth and our need to listen to it. Women would not use the imperative yo particle, but would rather say ye. Cha appears and translates as so. Taya means well. Taya. Taya. Anama yo means listen to me or hear me. It comes from the verb anagoptan, listen to or hear. Anagoptan. Inserting the ma particle changes the meaning to listen to me. Anama Gopta Anama Gopta Chataya Anama Gopta Yo Chataya Anama Gopta Yo Women will say Chataya Anama Gopta Ye Chataya Anama Gopta Ye Sung, it sounds like this Chataya Anama Gopta Yo Again Chataya anama goptayo. The final line of each verse is wana wamayankayo. 
women would sing wana wamayankaye. This translates into the imperative, now see me. It references our need to pay close attention to the truth we are seeking. Wana means now at this time. The first syllable contains a nasalized vowel. Wana. Wana. Wamayanka means see me or behold me. It is from the verb wayanka to see or behold. The insertion of ma particle changes its meaning to see me or behold me. Wana wamayanka yo. Wana wamayanka yo. Women will say wana wamayanka ye. Song the line is wana wamayanka yo. Again. Wana wamayanka yo. The first line sung in its entirety. Mani cha luza ta ha ki a wa u e lo ta ko chi chi a ki ta cha he wa u e lo cha ta ya na ma ko ta yo wa na wa ma ya ka yo. The second verse begins with the line ni epi et ki a ki a wa u e lo ni epi et ki a ki a wa u e lo. This translates as I come flying toward you. This line is in reference to the spirit of the dragonfly flying toward the lodge as a result of being invited by the singers. Niepi is pronounced as the pronoun indicating you plural. The P ending attached to pronouns and verbs indicate plurality. So nie means you individually, while niepi indicates you collectively. Niepi. Niepi. Itkia means toward. Itkia. It kia. Again, kia appears and means flying. Wauwelo appears also once again, meaning I come. Sung, it sounds like this. Ni epi et kia kia wauwelo. The second line is wichake ki ochichia kinkta cha he wauwelo. Wichake ki ochichia kinkta cha he wauwelo. Wichake ki literally translates as the truth. We chake king. We chake king. Ochichia kinkta again appears and means I will tell you. Ochichia kinkta. Ochichia kinkta. Chahe wa uwelo again means so I come. The entire line, we chake king ochichia kinkta chahe wa uwelo will translate as I come to tell you the truth. It also refers to helping us see through our illusions to the truth which lies beneath them. Sung, it sounds like this. Again. The last two lines are the same as in the first word. Chataya anama goptayo, wana wamayanka yo. The entire verse is sung like this. Ni epi et ki a ki a wa u e lo. We cha ke ki o chi chi a ki ta cha he wa u e lo. Cha ta ya na na ma go ta yo. Wa na wa ma ya ka yo. This concludes part one of the Dragonfly Spirit Invitation Song Tutorial.